Good day, viewers. Tech Health Software here. Um, welcome to part four on how to make a modern website. Um, so basically, we have this CSS here. So there's a couple of things we could change. We could get rid of this, which we are, and we're going to add a couple of different things here. We're going to add um, a few. We might we'll add a padding to get these edges around. Um, nav box is this here, so inside the nav bar. So we add a padding, so simply saying padding bracket, I mean, not bracket, semicolon uh, 5 sounds good, sounds good. PX. Uh, PX stands for pixels, I think. Uh, we refresh, refresh does that, that's good. Um, we can actually get rid of height too. Save that, refresh. Awesome. Now what we're going to do here is put in a negative margin by simply typing margin. Oops. I think did I spell that right? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, margin. Ooh, oh, as you, that would be a good example actually. Margin. So you got top. Um, you got bottom, left, right, and top. We want to go for top because we want it to go up. If you want right. Well, you can, you can do top or bottom. You can just do negative top, negative bottom, doesn't matter. So we're going to go top, negative 5px, then save. So basically this will go up, as you can see. We want to reach the top, so we're going to go negative 10. See how that goes. Negative 10 is okay. We still leave a little bit of a gap, I think. Let's go negative 11. Oh no, it was okay. Negative 10. And as you can see, it fits great. And we could go negative left too. So we're going to go margin left. E E F T. Um, I will go negative 10. See, and it fits fits great. So we navigation bar is going to look great. But we have a problem. We have to fit all this in. I mean, we have to make this nav bar really long. So it fits fluently. So we just haven't got it in the corner here. So what we're going to do in the nav bar is type in. Um, good idea. What, what were we going to type here? Uh, uh, it, it was width uh, semicolon 100%. This basically means it will go to 100% of the whole window. So let's save, refresh. Now you can see it goes to the whole thing. Look, look, we're, all, we're pretty much there. And that's great, but we still can't see the stuff behind it. So we've got the navigation pretty, pretty nice, that's good. But how do we see the stuff behind it? So what I thought we could do for that is basically, I don't think we'll add this in the header. We'll add this in the body. Um, what we could do is match the nav bar with the width of that. Um, so then we're going to change the one thing and it will change the bottom bar also. So what we could do is add another um, bracket in the front. So Okay, let's see how we go. Um, basically, with 100%, padding 5. So, what we're going to do is add a padding of 5 in the nav box. I think we'll just add a paragraph and see how we go. So, paragraph at the heading. Actually, what we can do in here, in the body, is let's add the body. Let's say body bracket bracket uh, and we'll just do padding um, 5px see how we go oh ah here we go so basically we added a paragraph instead as you can see drop a bit of a padding there in the nav box we don't want that so what we're going to do is add a paragraph at this front and call it, call it P 
bracket and you can always end the bracket but we don't need to we'll call this class uh, I mean class equals um, let's say nav padding um, programming usually we do first letter small which we should be doing for all this stuff like navbar um, I'll just recorrect navbar and put a capital B for this if you're changing the class or IDs and such they also have to be changed in the styling so we want to put this as a capital and what did I call this nav padding so basically we could do in this again dot nav padding bracket bracket um, just give it the same padding 5% I mean 5 pixels let's see what happens ok have we got words in here? we don't know actually I don't know we, we can go in the inspector you can view the source of this basically um, we go in the inspector and we'll just simply delete it because <laughs> I can't see if we have anything on there Navbar delete. Yeah, this is where the content is. So we do have words there. So we have to somehow find it. So let's go for 20 pixels. So basically, we've got 10, about 10 pixels down, 10 pixels left. So go 25 pixels. It has a pattern of 5, so we go 30 pixels. Refresh. Hey, we got it in. <laughs> so basically, what happened is we went we went ten up pixels, and that's what, that's where I added ten for. And then there was a pattern of five pixels in the nav box in here, so I added five. So it should be it should have been fifteen. And then I just added another five pixels, basically. And that's the area. It could be a better way of doing this. Uh, but it's okay it works that's all that matters we added five pixels we'll probably fix everything out later um, what we could do is change these buttons to text so and then this that will probably be the end of the video by adding a div tag um, calling them button uh, slash the div um, I'll just quickly speed this up, pause in the video. Um, I just could give you an example though. Um, we'll call this home. This is just text basically. Uh, ID home home button class home button. And basically, we're going to do that for all of them. So be right back. Okay. So what I actually decided to do since that quick flash then was is actually put in A so as a link not a div tag so what we're going to do is what we edit in the nav box is what will affect all this so basically text and such so what we're going to do and this actually looks pretty nice actually um, I'm going to get rid of the red um, sooner or later this is just makes things obvious so in the CSS we're just going to um, uh, actually, we could leave, we could leave that as, as it is now. Could put a bit of a pattern in there. Uh, it's okay. Uh, we can link it up. It actually looks good at the moment. What we could, what we are going to do, is in the nav box, so you know what you're doing, is change the four color and see how that goes. So four color? No, I mean color. Bala color and is green and we see what happens. Click a link, it doesn't go anywhere. Link back, refresh. Text color doesn't actually appear, so basically type in something here, color should be green. Yep it is. Link color. So refresh that. Link color. So what we do before we end this video 
um, is do a neat hack to sh show the effectiveness of changing the color of all this. So, as you know, you hover, nothing happens. I mean, no colors. So, what we're going to do is access the div tag. So, as you know, we have a div called nav box. You want to copy that, the name of it, and you want to go into styling. You want to type in div dot nav box, then a. Uh, as you can see, the a is this. It's affecting the, all the a's in here, basically. And then you want to do um, w semicolon. This can either be a link, as in the link color, hover, as in when you hover over it, it changes, and visited, which will, once you pressed it and the page is refreshed, it will come up with the different color. So I want to do hover. So hover and just do normal bracket and bracket control s and basically let's, you pick a color so I'll go for black so color is black and color refresh as you see the color is black so that's that's it that's all pretty much it for the basic functions of our um, navigation We'll probably fix this up later and make everything look good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There may not be videos later in, um, may not be that many videos later in the future because I have university, but I'll try my best. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.